What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another very big episode of Gormo Gang. Today we have an icon pack, we have the David Beckham pack, we've got packs from objectives, we have a jam packed episode, we also have the foot freeze player from United coming. So we're going to be seeing a Greenwood, Martial, Tellez, Wambasaka. It'll be interesting to see who we are going to get. But to start off with, I am definitely going to be claiming these icon swaps. I sat through last night. I worked through the Serie A. That was nice and easy to do. Got that done pretty quick. And then I woke up this morning. Well, probably about mid-afternoon I woke up. And then from there, I have just sat and played squad battles. I've been bored to death playing squad battles. However, it does mean we finally have the icon swap done for the base icon pack. We also, at about midnight last night, obviously with the turn to the 15th, we were able to get our David Beckham. So that is still in the store. I haven't opened it yet. The pack animation is fantastic for it. I am really excited just to kind of see it like firsthand. I can't wait to use that card. We are going to be getting him into our weekend league team somehow. It will mean that we can try and fit in the um, Torreya card. I still want to use Martinez. And hopefully, with the icon that we are going to pack today, we can get... I'm looking for a striker right now. Just to... As much as I said I didn't want a striker, I do need a striker for chemistry reasons to try and link all the team together. A few other things that we have done is whilst playing for the div, uh, sorry for the squad battles, we're able to get the um, pro fifty games in, just fifty wins on minimal minimum professional. The two hundred matches with rare players does seem to be broken right now. I wasn't using rare players in all the teams, but I know a few people have struggled with like some of the special cards. They're not kind of getting the objective done, but we'll get that done. Probably it's going to be like a team of the season pack more than anything. And um, just because of the lack of squad battles that I play, we won't be playing too much. But we've got a 50k pack. And another thing I am very happy about is we have the 45k pack from either the Premier League, Bundesliga or La Liga. Now, I would like to go with the Bundesliga because there's a few of the um, freeze cards. You could get Sané or Thorgan Hazard. La Liga, we've already got Texiera, uh, sorry, not Texiera, we've already got Torreya. It would be nice if we could get like a Casemiro or someone. But for me, there is a Sadio Mane impact. He kind of just trumps it. If we could get the Bernardo Silva as well, that would be good. So I'm going to stick with, for the, for the I think it's the second time that we've had the seasons, I'll take the Prime Premier League players pack again. So we've actually got quite a lot of packs to open today. Um. Thankfully, there is like a lot of content to do. Another thing that I did do was go and clear the club of all of our championship players. They are selling on for minimum 400 coins for um, silvers. Obviously, if you get certain positions, you're looking at like thousands of coins per player. So we were able to go through and clear all of them out. Just one bronze that we haven't sold. So we can send them back to the club. Um, Trey Pile doesn't really have too much on it. Hopefully, we'll get a lower rated SBC. At some point, just to put some a few of the 82s and 83s in. But what we'll do is we'll go and claim our icon pack. Um, and I don't think there was too much else in SBCs. I also did go and complete the loan card for Gaia. So we do have him in the club whenever we get round to doing that at some point. Um, but yeah, this base icon pack, I am hoping we can get something from this. If we can get some sort of forward whether it be a cam or a kind of striker, we can work with whatever we get. Um, even if we get a winger to an extent, it might help us out a bit, but we could be going for some of the packs right now. For me, the packs are really good if you don't care about icons and you just need fodder in your club. Right now, thankfully, with open 125k packs the other day, I do have quite a lot of fodder in the club, so I'm at a point where... I don't really need that too much. An icon would help with a bit more of the chemistry for our team. So they're going to go ahead and submit the base icon pack. So all that we can do now is on the 1st of January, so in 15 days time, we'll be able to get another 10 icon swaps. And then from there, it's going to be the two for the two ultimate packs. 
the three for the 85 plus and then the other five will go into the 83 plus pack so we could have gotten Emmanuel Vidic, we could get Hadji and I think we could also get the base or mid icon pack. Realistically with the base icon packs being repeatable now, we could just sit and do them instead of this base or mid icon. Hadji's not going to get anywhere near the team, nor is Vidic, we've got an icon centre back so we definitely don't need him. For me these are going to work with the saving up for project team of the year from the 1st of January as well. But... We do have five packs in store, so we'll start off with the 25k pack. We will finish on the base icon, we'll do the Beckham pack just before it, but the fact that you can actually have two David Beckhams in your team, if you get that lucky, is a weird glitch that you can have now because David Beckham's a normal card and he's also a um, icon card, so obviously it all just depends on if we do get lucky and somehow pack a second David Beckham. He's worth a million coins, so it's a good value icon, but we'll have to see. We'll open the 50k pack first, just because it's not Premier League themed. Um, hopefully, we can get a walkout. We don't get a walkout. It's going to be bored, so it will help us in some of the SBCs to come. It's going to be a Spanish cam. It's going to be Isco, another 84 rated into the club. Again, just helping. He'll help a lot more with chemistry. Kovacic is good, and then a few of the duplicates. Not the best, but hopefully they are all tradable, I think. So we've got two tradable and then Eric Dyer we can just quick sell. Usually I'd go and kind of put him in, but we don't need to do any more SBCs. So the Premier League Prime Players Pack. This is where I want a Crease card. There's a lot that we could get. It's not going to be a walkout. It is going to be boards though. So again, it's not going to be horrendous, but there's going to be Raul Jimenez. More fodder in the club at the end of the day. It was more just to test our luck, see if we could get. We do get a Tellers. That's quite a nice card. Again, We've packed him before, I think, and we threw him into an SPC. I'm not really going to be using him with Mendy in the club, but obviously we'll keep hold of Tellers. We have just packed Kovacic, so part of me thinks about putting him into an SPC. However, there isn't many SPCs that you need 83 rated for. I'm going to go ahead and quick sell it. I do have quick sell recoveries. i still got Tagliafico that we can get, so we'll eventually get around to kind of claiming all of them, but... The pack that I have been really looking forward to. It, the fact that the theme of this is just black and red. I was sat last night and was looking at a few card designs. I think I put a Salah image with this card design. It looks so good. Hopefully EA can do more like this. However, this is the David Beckham pack. For me, it just looks incredible. I mean, I don't really want to speak over it. The reds, the whites, the blacks, obviously the English right mid from Real Madrid. And then we go and get this design. It, it looks fantastic. It's a shame that he hasn't got his dynamic hair, like his dynamic photo, but it is what it is. We'll take a David Beckham in the club at the end of the day. 86 rated. He's going in our weekend league team. He looks fantastic. I really like the look of this card. There's a lot that is wrong with it, and I know a lot of people are just putting him straight into SBCs and not even trying him out. The three-star, three-star doesn't really help. But apart from that, for me, I'm going to look to probably put a catalyst on him with going into the cam roll. I may even change it to a hunter, just to kind of, if he does get that shot on the edge of the box, it's likely to go in. But yeah, for me, a card that I'm really excited to use, and one that I've been looking forward to since EA announced it. However... What the better pack is, is we have this base icon pack. I really could do with EA giving us something here. I, I, I do not. You know part of me doesn't even want to rate around. We're doing a nose pack. EA. Are we going to get something big? I don't even want to look. It's obviously a walkout. It's obviously the icon flares. It's English. Cam. Ooh. John Barnes. Now. Usually people would say that's not good. For me, as a Liverpool fan, I actually quite like the look of this John Barnes card. He could work for us. I'm thinking we wanted to play in a 4-2-3-1, David Beckham as the central cam, and had Martinez as the right cam. What I might do is change Martinez going into the striker role, and then John Barnes can go into the right cam role. I think that might work, and then it just means we can get any left winger that we want. But, an English icon, played for Liverpool, so for me, 
I'm actually quite happy with that card. I would have preferred like a Torres, Gerard, or Daglish maybe for a Liverpool icon, but it isn't the worst card. His pace is good enough. We can improve probably with a catalyst again. His agility and balance isn't amazing. That it does let him down a bit, but high stamina. I think he's six foot, so four star, four star. It does help. It isn't the worst icon. It'd be interesting to see. He's 260, 270k, so I'm actually quite happy with that icon. Um, it's not the worst pack ever. Um, yeah, what we'll do is we've got about 50 minutes before um, the 6 pm content to see what the United player is, so. I will be right back with whatever EA come out with. So guys, it's just turned 6 o'clock and EA have gone and released a... It doesn't look like they've put it into the item release yet, nor into the news part. So we'll go and have a look in the SBCs at who has came out. It is going to be wan centre-back card. Okay, this is going to be interesting. 81 pace. 80 dribbling, 85 defending, 83 physical. It's going to be an 84, 85, and 86, which, to be honest, I expect that. 14 days to complete. So, with the fact that upgrade packs are there, I actually think this could be a very easily grindable card that you can get. Um, it doesn't look a bad card. A lot of people play his right-back card in centre-back anyway already. So, kind of what I expected. He's gonna fit the meta so well with the 81 pace it's good but joe gomez does have more pace so you could say maybe joe gomez is just as good of a center back bit less of the defending stats so we'll have to see what's what i think i'm going to be doing chamberlain and then i might look at doing this card depending on what else comes out the fact that there's an 84 and 85 does make it a little bit easier you do need two informs which again there's some cheap informs right now Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some like high fodder in forms as well. The packs back, 15k pack, a prime mixed and a rare mixed. Again, not amazing packs, but knowing EA this year, it's not going to be fantastic packs back. I think a lot of people will do this. You'll see this card a lot in weekend league. A lot of people may be put off by the 84, 85 and 86. If it was 84 and 85, it would be in everybody's team. But the 86 SBC part might put a few people off. However, we will have him in the um we'll we'll have him as a I'm hoping as a loan card. Yeah, so he's got he's got his loan card for 14 days. It should be quite easy to complete. I'm expecting only maybe an English. Six gold players, English and two rare. That makes sense because he is quite a meta card that you will see in objectives. If you haven't done icon swaps yet, he'll work fantastically for the Premier League. What I think is going to happen for the next icon swaps from January onwards is we're probably going to see the likes of like nations, so a full England team, a full France team, and it might be instead of one league, it'll be one nation. So wan might be good if you're looking for the England team. Joe Gomez next to him, you'll probably be able to fit that in together. Um, but apart from that, it is just a case today of the daily SBC, which was only a 15k pack, so it's not going to be too difficult to do and um, i'll do it now because there won't be a video out for tomorrow just because i'm busy so i don't have time to record and um, so the team of the week will be covered on thursday's episode with rewards anyway so it shouldn't be too bad but obviously looking at the pack is going to be an untradeable pack 75 rating plays from the same nation plays from the same uh, so max of three leagues is all that we really need to worry about if we go on untradeable first, I'm hoping we've got a few cards that we can use. Maybe we go with Prem. You can probably work with the Prem a bit. We'll take the Saudi League and then more Prem. Again, more Prem. We'll take Richie as well. And by the looks of it, we are starting to run very low on our common cards again. So we'll have to go through and look to do a few packs to maybe upgrade that. But... If we go with holding in as a centre-back there, and then maybe we should throw him up there for the chemistry. The Martin, can, is it Martin? Marin, sorry. Matt HD game, pretty much. Um, plays from the same nation. So if we go with some silver players, if we go with Germany, and then silver, 
Um, actually, do we need any rare cards? Doesn't say that we need rare cards, so we'll just go with hopefully some silvers. We should have enough rating by the time we get through it. That was only. Hmm, we might need to go with the bronzes then, just in case. Um, we don't actually have a lot in the club, Germany wise. Hmm. Go back to the silvers and have a look at what we do. Was he German second league? Okay, so we've got two German second league players. Maybe we should go and buy... Yeah, we've got too many from the same nation. I thought that might happen. We've definitely got um, English players. However, we're going to be able to use one more English player. So if we'll take a look at the left wings, we don't have anything. In at left mids, we don't have anything either. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, what do we have gold then? He's part of the same league, isn't he? Yeah, he's part of the same club. Oh yeah, we'll definitely use this guy then. Um, we'll go and actually have a look at the Saudi League, see what we have from there. We might have a few bronzes that we can use. Uh, I don't even know where the Saudi League is. Where are we? There it is. Right, okay. What have we got? Nothing else in the Saudi League. That's weird. Oh, it's because we're on untradeables. That's why. Um, <laughs> I should probably remember when I'm next doing that. We'll throw these two in. The bronzes should make it a little bit cheaper. The good thing is... We got the 75 rated perfectly. We've gone over 10 by chemistry, but everything in the team is untradeable apart from the two bronzers, which I'm more than happy to throw away right now. For a 15k pack, so we'll open that to finish off today's video. But yeah, as a whole, the whole freeze thing is a pretty good promo right now. Leon Bailey and Marquinhos in there for another day. Jose Gaia is going to be in there for two days, and then Wambasak is in for 14 days. I think a lot of people are going to do his cards. The The weird thing is, he's going to be there till after Christmas. And so, obviously, with a lot of people getting, like, these kind of, like, getting FIFA for Christmas, sorry, we might see his cards being used a lot more. So, it'll be interesting to see how long this foot promo is going to last for. I think the cards are in packs till Friday. They might release a second team, or they might even do, like, a three-week promo till the end of the year. So, we'll have to see what EA do, but... To finish off today's video, we've got a 15k pack. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As we don't get anything. And that's where we're going to leave it. So I'm out. Peace.